We close today with this stay of stakes then. This is a seven horse event over two and a quarter miles. It's a group two. So Looney Tunes at the top will be giving away the penalties again. Hybrid October and Daenerys Stormborn for Graham Clutterbuck. Beam Craig Beckwith. Darwin Starlet Vinnie Gerard. So I told you David Hooley. And Trouble Scene Leon Van Rensburg. So seven runners in this then. Thanks to Leon for taking the bulk of the races today. As my throat continues to recover. And away we go. Trouble seen just about the early leader. Interesting to see what the tactics are this time. As Looney Tunes a uh, couple of races this season where he's had to give the penalties away and the tactics have not necessarily favoured him. This time I'm gonna go to the front. The pace to seem a little bit slow, which will probably favour him as well. Like trouble seen back in second and now Looney Tunes has kicked on in front and it's gone. Three or four clear. Very difficult for these flat horses to give the lumps of weight away over long distances, especially the top class ones, because they're not used to it. There's not sort of, a lot of the handicappers where there's a big gulf between the bottom weights and the top weights. There's not that much between these sort of horses sometimes, and if you've got to carry penalties or double penalties, sometimes you have to you really can leave you with a little chance of winning. But Looney Tunes. He's in the lead and fair play to Paul Rhodes for throwing it in this season. There's plenty of people who would have left it at home and just brought it out for the Group 1s. Looney Tunes is the leader. Well, Darwin style at second, so I told you third. And then Hollywood October, the nearest Stormboard is next, then Beam and Troubled Scene. Most of these stairs, of course, tend to get better as they get older, so let's hope that Looney Tunes is one of those that might come back and then maybe next season John Morgan will have got his stayer sorted out because he was always pretty good with them and we get some big heavyweight clashes between Rhodes and Morgan and Graham Clutterbuck's always good in these long distance races as well I'm sure he's got a few primed for next season talking of which stand by for an announcement later in the week or the start date of the next season, which I think I believe will be season 14, depending on what you do any counting from. There seems to be lots of different numbers depending on what season it is, but that's what it says on Tom, so I'll go with that. For season 14. I'll be underway towards the back end of the year. I'll wait until later in the season for an announcement from El Presidente as to when it will be and whether there'll be any trial races or anything beforehand everybody can get ready to rebuild for next year it's been a good season this season the two new names at the top especially if you count on wins as I do I don't believe you can work it out on money simply because if it was worked out on money it would be purely down to the country wouldn't it it wouldn't have all these races with huge prize money from America and Japan and places involved in it if it was in prize money really for championship it just skew it just a little bit but anyway Looney Tunes is the leader four furlongs to go they're all queuing up behind Trouble Scene is second the nearest Stormbird has moved around the outside into third then so I told you in Darwin style up Beam is next and Hybrid October the back marker but Looney Tunes passes the three furlong pole still in the lead and still appears to be going well Daenerys Stormbone is in second Trouble Scene is third so I told you his neck coming around the outside Beam looks a big danger they're racing into the final two then now and Looney Tunes is still in front Looney Tunes is holding on at the moment he's still too clear of Daenerys Stormbone and Beam and then comes so I told you it's still Looney Tunes beginning to tire as they hit the furlong pole it's Looney Tunes in the lead on the rail being chased by Daenerys Stormbone Beam and I, so I told you, it's still Looney Tunes in front, half a foot on to go, Looney Tunes is hanging on, here comes the nearest Storm Bomb, but Looney Tunes is going to take it, Looney Tunes wins it from the nearest Storm Bomb, Beam, I've been not able to finish well, and Looney Tunes bows out, and let's hope it's only bows out for the season with a win, and we're back next season, that one, with a bit of luck, the nearest Storm Bomb, likewise, who finished second, and Beam also, so Looney Tunes for Paul Rose, the winner, Daenerys Stormborn, Grand Clutterbuck second, Beam Craig back with third, so I told you David Hooley fourth, and Highbury in October for Grand Clutterbuck was fifth, and uh, we'll see you on day two.